what would I do instead of buying a 600mm F4? Thank you so much again to our new subscribers. We've hit 75 subscribers. Yes, please. Thank you so, so much. We really appreciate it. This helps us bringing you more content here at CM Travels. If you're new to the channel, my name is Murray Forbes. I'm a co-founder of a wildlife travel company, Loving Life, and bringing you some epic gear reviews, as currently most of our destinations are on lockdown. But if you like the content, hit that thumbs up, please. Or, if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button. The red, the red one. Click that notification bell. Ding! And that'll let you know when we bring new videos out. Sit back, relax. Let's talk about this beast behind me. 600mm F4. I had the chance to use it. Here's my feedback. Perhaps you'll notice how big it is. And there's two pretty cool things about this lens. You are a boss. People look at you and they're like, wow. Who's this guy? He must be famous. Look at this glass. It's crazy. You can do workouts. Is it practical for your everyday photographer? I was using it Swiss National Park. So we took it to the Swiss National Park. And I must admit, the 600 mm length is really what you need in this type of environment. The wildlife is fairly skittish or scared and shy, so it's not often very close to you, which means the 600 mm length really helps you get the best focal length that you can with the animals that are so far away. That leads me to point number one. Why go somewhere where you have to work really hard for wildlife that's very far away? Two alternatives for you, Pontresina, if you were looking for Steinbock and Pilatus. I have a wonderful image back here that was shot at Pilatus of a beautiful male or ram Steinbock. Wonderful, wonderful image and we could get really close to them. One, because there's normally lots of people in this area and the wildlife is used to people. They also don't get hunted there, which means they're not very scared. Took that with a 300mm lens instead of a 600mm lens. What's the important bit? Know where you're gonna go, spend the time doing the research. You don't need this. Next thing, point number two, is the price tag. Over 13,000 francs, or around 13,500 US, for that amount of money, I would rather get this. The 500 mil fixed, f5.6, the new PFED lens. Beautiful lens, very sharp, very fast. Doesn't have the f4 stop, most of the cameras that we're using nowadays, the ISO are really, it allows us to use it in such low light that the F4 seems a bit ridiculous. It does offer a slightly smoother background, but if you're really searching for that smooth background, think about the shot, compose better, look at the background, is it clear? Is the subject far away from its background? Because even at f5.6, you can still have a beautiful smooth background as long as the subject is not very close to the background where it is situated. Plus, you can buy this lens, I think it's around three and a half thousand, book a trip to Antarctica, go and see leopard seals, go and see emperor penguins, go and see gentoo penguins, go and see chinstrap penguins, the plethora of different petrels and albatrosses, as well as the swimming wonder of whales that you can see in Antarctica. Plus, you go into Antarctica. Amazing place to be going. Amazing place to be going. Antarctica, yes, instead of buying this and going to the Swiss National Park, seeing a Steinbock or a chamois or perhaps even a Hirsch a million miles away. Do that instead. That's my tip for you today. <laughs> if you like the content, thank you so much for staying this long in the video. Here's a bit of bonus material. What I would do as a third option, Nikon D3500. I've done a review. Click the link here after this video or click, save, copy the URL. Then go to the video after this video. Buy this little badger, 500 US dollars, and then do the ultimate African safari. First, South Africa, four nights, Sabi Sands. Then, Botswana, 
Okavango Delta, four nights. Then Zambia, walking safari, four nights. Then Kenya, Maasai Mara, Great Migration, four nights. Then Uganda, Great Apes, Chimpanzees, Gorillas, four nights. You can do all of that with the same price of this lens and document it with that camera. And guess what? Your life will be richer. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.